Well, Lucas is like father level, but he's really stubborn. That that's that's Lucas. Oh, Lucas is cocky, eh? No, yeah. no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hamstar slams. Yeah, I want to. I, I want to see this. Him. I want to see this in real time. Bro, he, the funny thing about him, every time him argues with Vlad, I can use it for Kina because he always argues something stupid that helps me. I think, well, well, it's talking about a big shift or something that will get choke slammed on their fucking neck. Yeah, by yeah, 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 yeah. Ham, oh. Ham, who do you specialize in again? You, you use what? Who? Ham, who do you use? Let's I see. fuck your mom, shit lips. He mentions... You know, I specialize. Uh, Toma. Let's do Toma. Toma versus Toma Kakai. Is... Toma versus Kakai. Okay. Not in your mouth. Let, 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 uh, let's let's see this. Okay. State your state your win con, bro. State your win cons. I'll moderate. I think we might win con is. Uh... Him. What? Do you know how Kikini can clone himself? Hmm. Okay. And. You know how I imagine Breaker can only be, at one point, at this. So he is so like. If there are enough Kikinas, they can just surround him and fucking murder him. But you know how cocky cock and they can be. Cock, yeah. cock can beat that person? Wow. But he cock has, kind, how you say He has uh, unlimited cloning. He ignores cock, the concept bro. of numbers. A cock, bro. A cock, hmm. bro. Okay, you said something, cock and I? Yeah. Oh no, cut kind, bro. Sorry. <laughs> the key cock, ignores cock, the concept bro. of numbers and he can just repeatedly send and send more to clones towards Toma until he gets overwhelmed. Hmm. Let's see. What's just stopping Toma from running up on him and one shotting him with a magic breaker? Uh, Kakina can fly. Why would he need to fly? He doesn't know about a magic breaker. He could also just then, if he gets the edit, he would just. He has cloning, so it's just another Kikina would have, would be the new center. <laughs> and he could just continue from there. Trash versus so garbage. Had... Trash versus garbage. <laughs> Trash versus garbage. No, no, no. It's Sorry, high... buddy. Okay. This is worse but... than Lucas versus Shin. <laughs> Why? Why is this her? Uh... Bro, I, I need to to think of what to say, and then I need to speak them, and then I need to think about if they are really correct. Didn't you do political debates? How is this harder? I did it. On, I did. I did it in German. It's harder. It's harder. It's okay. Like I don't know if you know it. It's easier to speak in a, your own first language. Native language. Yeah. Native I wouldn't know, man. I wouldn't know. Yeah, because I speak the universal. I speak the universal language of the gods. You don't speak German. I don't speak German. I agree. Okay, let's say it. Thomas slams. Yeah. No. Oh my not Put it in your mouth. No, no. Uh, he anyways, to Thomas, Thomas, he ain't blitzing. Didn't you say? Didn't you agree that uh, Kikina is, F is uh, light speed? Yeah, and Toma reacts to light speed attacks casually already. Yeah, but only in one direction. Mm. Remember in NT12 in Saint Germain arc when Saint Germain came from every direction and Toma was pretty much fucked. If he, he did, <laughs> he, he was having uh, he was having PTSD. Not not fair. Mm -hmm. Not fair PTSD. I can't. How dare you give my son PTSD? I can't talk about. No, no, no. Life. Toma had PTSD. I'm saying I when he got. Oh. I can talk yeah. about light speed means being able to cross the world like four times in a single second. Seven times. Seven times. Yeah. It was oh like that. my god. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. I won. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, wait, Toma yeah. rush. This, this is really un this is really unstructured. So let's structure this like to, to like some sort of point, right? Go through AP. I will judge. I will yeah, judge the debate. I'll, I'll moderate, okay? You, you go through AP, yeah. durability, and speed, and then we'll go for conclusions, okay? It will so make first, it first one shot each other. First go, first go for AP. Uh, AP. No, no, no. I don't think you should do that. I think you should just go over your win conditions. <laughs> okay, go over the win conditions then. Well, like, why do you think the character wins? Do you think your character is making a drawing, though? Yeah. One moment, please. Shut up. Let me finish. Let me, let me finish. <laughs> okay. okay. Alright. So basically, when you go for win conditions, just like. You immediately start with like why do you think your character wins and like how you would prove it like for example right if my first win condition is just my character like out like just beat your character up i would scale my character 
if my character like has a hack, I think beat your character, then I would just go with my like hack. So just go over any win conditions you have. I don't want to see anything oh. that doesn't like give you a win. Is this how you that avoid being premise right? trapped? What? Is this how you this avoid is... being premise trapped? How you avoid being premise trapped by not doing premises? Oh. I, yeah, I just I, I don't want to see anything. Is it in their purpose? I, I think they're useless. I think they're presupposed. Oh. But anyways, I don't want to see I don't want to see any like form of argumentation. That doesn't involve your character like not winning. If you argue something your character does that doesn't like give you the win, I want you. To, I don't. I don't think it's worthy of mention. So you guys can go now. Okay, okay. I'll make sure there's no spugging. Okay, my point is, Kikini can just overwhelm Toma with numbers. Okay. I'd say Toma wouldn't let that reach to that point and negate Kakane beforehand. Because, let's see. Hmm. Why do I feel like I'm put on a spot? Shouldn't it be um, Lucas' turn? I mean, Lucas, argument, gave but... his, Lucas gave a statement. Now you're uh, arguing against it. Oh. Okay. I don't think Toma would let that get to that point. How, how, how would he stop it? Hmm? How would he stop it? By rushing Kakane, most likely. By rushing Kakak? Cock? Okay. How? Kakak, cock, bro. Oh, fuck, I'm not me. Oh. <laughs> Let's see. Simply by just running towards him. That's what I'm saying. Okay, in the time he can clone himself so many times, he can just fly up out of his range. Or just... Would Kakane do that in character, though? Because he know he already knew about how strong Accelerator was. That's why he was cloning himself so many times. But with Toma, he knows nearly nothing. Yeah, but I don't want to talk about it. I want just to talk. They fight. You know, the like, of his... like you can say, yeah, uh, he you know, can just walk up to him and like uh, shake shake his hand, and then he dies. <laughs> no, not not that. Like. All I'm saying is, normally, Kakane wouldn't be spawning like 20 plus clones immediately if you're not Accelerator. <laughs> and plus, Toma, he doesn't know about Imagine Breaker. And most likely, if Toma views the Kakane that he's fighting as the main one, then he'll most likely try to avoid any other distractions, let's say, like those clones. Let and get into contact. And they can have a question yeah, yeah, what, what? about the about the, I have a question about the uh, uh, standard battle, battle assumption. Yeah. What do you want to know? Like, isn't it the case that uh, you have a rough, uh, you know what your opponent opponent can do? No. Is that okay? You you basically have the the basic information to know what they look like and how to identify them on, on the battlefield. Okay. Okay. Right hand lad, be quiet during this debate. It is I'm, not your place. I'm the moderator. I don't care. It is not your place, <laughs> or it is my place to provide information during the debate if the debaters do not have them themselves. Mm. Stay meter until it is time for you to moderate. Okay, so him. Yeah. Each clone is has is like exactly as strong as the original because it's the exact same. Yeah. And, and, and like the main kikina can be switched freely, or like there is not even really confirmed if there even is a main kikina, or if it's just. All of them are one. It's not really explained because Kikina is, it could be dead, it could be dead, but it also could be like dead. Like the Kikina network works very strange in comparison to others. I, but I would need to look my things up for that again. But so, if you consider the Toma, so what is your scaling for Toma speed? Fairies. But if you're trying to kill him, he should be able to react to even attacks that move at. And accessible speeds, but it's also in, only in that direction where he can point his imagine breaker to. Uh, and there's One still direction. like like imagine breaker is like he he has to stretch out his hand or like use his hand to negate it. And at that time his bag is open, 
and the cloning threat would just overwhelm him. Well, with Toma, the, here's the thing. Toma want to let that happen. But and how plus, would he stop it? Hmm? But how would he stop it? Why would it happen? Because they fight. No. What Kakane normally use like 20 plus clones on somebody that he doesn't think is strong is like Accelerator. He only fights Accelerator, so we don't know. Against Ophinus, he didn't know anything. He instantly went full all, all on out. Hmm. He he didn't even see Ophinus, actually. He was blindsided. Um, he was laughing and spreading out his wings. Finally being alive again. I mean, like, he didn't even... Yeah, he just instantly went full power again. I mean, like, dead. And if you consider that there is a chance that Kine may even know about Toma and how he that he defeated Excel, because it was it was pretty well known that Accelerator was defeated by level zero, and with a bit of research you could find out it was Toma. So if he knew that, he would probably go all out if he can if there is someone who can beat Accelerator. Clones can Cockney um, spawn honestly, uh, like in a span, Beetle like a can like. 20 and Kikini can spawn infinite amount of clones, but the time is level is like never really confirmed because he uh, made all of them in prep time. But oh, yeah. he, like it's like an exponential, he increases exponentially. He creates one clone and that clone can create another clone and then all of those clones can re blah 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 blah. You know what I mean? The moment the first clone gets created, it just goes up and up and up even faster. See. But it's like at least in the f few hundreds, if you consider that. Mm. Oh. A few hundreds. At least. Because that's roughly how many he used against Excel in NT6. If you only also there are the beetles and the dragonflies and everything that could be used as well, or the one hundred meter wings to put them off balance, or like his other attacks like uh, creating uh, creating uh, shock waves or explosions or um, turning cells into sand or ignoring everything except human flesh. Oh, actually. Let's see. You remember his fights with Accelerator in Old Testament 20 and Othinus in New Testament 9. Yes. They try to overwhelm him with a mount of attacks from different directions. You remember that? Hmm. In NT9, I, I don't it's, really. It's when, um. let's see, it's going to be funny. When he's trying to close the distance between him, him and Othinus, Othinus filled the entire sky of the Black Labyrinth with arrows and the black labyrinth goes on forever and you he was the, you mean the, the crossbow yes but it was the at the same frame. time it was like there was like a gap between each shot he found a safe space between the shots yes yeah but now consider the like 200 arrows from all directions at the same time omnidirectional Wouldn't he just have to negate one to make a safe space? You could say that, but then like the next one will come on the next one and the next one it's like an infinite wave of attacks that that he can in theory not close as long as Kina just stays in the sky and doesn't let him touch him. So there's actually no way Toma can defeat him. He can just stall time. Even if that would work with the creating a safe space every single time again. How close we're starting the uh, fighters at. But we could all. Yeah, and then it's probably work. Like if they're starting off very close, then I could just say. And also, K uh, Kikini can just. Could, in theory, even though Toma can dodge building being thrown to the ground. Like that's also something he could do, just throw physical things at him. 
but he is but Toma is shown to be able to dodge or counter it, so it's not I should stretch a bit as long like all of this combined it's like the only way you could say Toma can win this is or like not lose it is saying he can dodge it or he can stall time. It's just very strange to imagine a cock and a starting off with over 20 plus clones at the start of the fight against somebody he probably underestimates. But if you consider NT7, when you remember the fight, Thomas said himself that he couldn't keep up with how Beetle moved. Yeah, but later on, he was able to actually parry attacks from Renza. Yeah, Pretty but again, it's only, yeah. it's only from one direction. So you're talking about New Testament 6 Kakame, right? Yeah, the strongest version. So you said something about how if Toma negates the main or the one that talks the most, that wouldn't affect the system, I guess? Hmm. It potentially could, but it's there's no reason to believe that. If we we don't know I don't think we know the how uh Imagine Breaker affects the dark matter. So that's a bit strange. There are many things it could just be that he negates the one being. Like the one connected string of dark matter, or in theory, even though it make not doesn't make really sense, it could even uh, in theory destroy the whole network. Even though it makes no sense, because like okay, Kikina doesn't have a human body; he has only has some organs going s somewhere, and his network works over AIM. So if his body gets destroyed, he can just transfer his like personal reality to the next body. So you're saying something like it's like um, Saint Germain, right? Yeah, sim it's it's pretty similar to Saint Germain actually. Because but the thing, but but here's the thing: At, you remember when Beetle take over or called himself Cockney? Yeah. Then something happened to the main Cockney, right? Okay. Or the uh, one that was the Beetle. one making clones and stuff like that. Beetle was cut out of the kicking of the Dark Matter Network. But Beetle took over the personal reality and then overtook the network, cut off the dark matter Kakine, and then he died because he didn't have a resupply of dark matter anymore. So did the Beatles, right? The, 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 Beatle did, the Beatle was at dying, but then he overtook the network. No, I mean the other Beatles. The other Beatles were just destroyed, I think, by Beetle. But we can. But I. Th I think it was said that uh, the moment uh, Beetle took over control, all existing unit, all of the existing units of the Dark Matter Network were destroyed. Because like the feathers kicking the shot were, uh, were shot down, and like the sister clones disappeared and everything. But it would require Toma to deal with the personal reality or aim of Kikina. Hmm. I guess so. I I think I'll concede to this. Can't really think about a win condition.